Spider-Man No Way Home may be the most secretive movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Avengers Endgame. For months, it's been surrounded by rumors of returning Spider-Man from different timelines, villainous resurrections, and more multiversal shenanigans what? than you could shake a time stone at. Star back, Tom Holland told Variety his third outing as the famous web slinger is going to be the most ambitious standalone superhero movie ever made, and so far it's shaping up to be just that. Here's everything we know about the release date, cast, and plot of Spider-Man No Way Home. What just happened? Let's start with something we do know for sure. Spider-Man No Way Home is set to debut in theaters on December 17th, 2021. When it comes to the film's future on at-home streaming services, though, things get a little more complicated. What? If you're an MCU or Disney fan, you've likely already taken advantage of the fact that the studios have been releasing some of their most hotly anticipated blockbusters on Disney Plus during the COVID-19 pandemic. It would make sense for No Way Home to follow suit, except that the Spider-Man movies are actually Sony properties, and the fact that the character was introduced into the MCU at all is kind of a business deal miracle. That deal means we get to see Holland's Peter Parker palling around with the likes of Doctor Strange, but it also means that you won't be seeing the movie on Disney Plus Premiere Access. That's the bad news. The good news is that this is probably the only MCU movie where Tom Hardy's Venom just might show up. According to what's on Disney Plus, No Way Home will be heading to stars after its theatrical and home video runs. While it will eventually find its way to the Disney Plus library, that won't be happening anytime soon. If you oh, want to see No Way Home God. when it premieres oh, no on... no more links now. I see you last morning, Chewie. Do not try to skip the queue. Last morning. Do not send links anymore. <laughs> on December 7th. Did they even click your link? Tink, you're going to have to mask oh. up and head to the theater. Disinfect the mask. Mm. When it comes to the cast for Spider-Man No Way Home, there are some things we can be sure of. Tom Holland is definitely back as Peter Parker. Zendaya will reprise her role as MJ. Jacob Batalon will return as Ned. And Marissa Tomei will once again play Aunt May. Additionally, we know that there will be several crossovers with the established MCU. Doctor Strange's Benedict Cumberbatch and Benedict Wong will be making appearances while perennial MCU ensemble member Jon Favreau will once again play Happy Hogan. Happy, is that you? Is it me? Yeah, of course it's me! Now for the really fun stuff. As has been speculated for some time, there will be returning characters from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy and the two amazing Spider-Man films from Mark Webb. The No Way Home trailer gave us a glimpse of Alfred Molina as Otto Octavius, aka Dr. Octopus, aka Doc Ock. And with the November 16th release of the final trailer, we can now say for sure that Jamie Foxx's Max Dillon, aka Electro, and Willem Dafoe's iconic Green Goblin are returning to the big screen. You know how much I sacrificed? The trailer also showed us that the Amazing Spider-Man series Lizard and Spider-Man 3's Sandman are making a sinister return as well. J.K. Simmons, who popped up in the mid credit sequence of Spider-Man Far From Home, will also be returning as J. Jonah Jameson. I want Spider-Man! The biggest question that's been surrounding No Way Home is whether any of the previous Spider-Men, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, will be featured in the film. Everyone from Holland to Garfield to Kevin Feige himself has thrown cold water on those rumors, but we know better. This multiversal crossover is almost definitely happening, and even if we don't get any official word on their appearance, they pretty much have to be there or fans will revolt. You have to remember, just stay calm. As far as the plot for Spider-Man No Way Home is concerned, there's a lot we do know, but even more we don't know. Based on the trailer and the official bits of synopsis that have come out, we know that the film will see Peter Parker dealing with the aftermath of the mid credit sequence from Far From Home, where Jameson played a video from Quentin Beck, aka Mysterio, revealing to the world that the plucky high schooler is in fact Spider-Man. When the pressure of this revelation gets to be too much for him, Peter goes to his old buddy Doctor Strange to have him perform a little timeline magic and zap everything back to before his identity was doxxed. But of course, that doesn't exactly go as planned. 
The trailer's world-bending action and the presence of villains from the previous film series suggest that No Way Home will see Peter and his allies dealing with a total multiverse meltdown. Of course, exactly what that entails will be revealed when we see the movie itself. Considering this is the last movie in Holland's Spider-Man trilogy, though, it's safe to say that the stakes will be huge. Spider-Man No Way Home hits theaters on December 17th. Check out one of our Top newest wait, videos man. right here. Paul Plus, even more loop. I saw another fucking movie with uh, Cumber Boy and uh, Kirsten Dunst today. Cowboy One. Forgot it. Something about dog. It was terrible. Terrible, terrible.